To Garfield County now, where producers were in the classroom this week for the first ever Canola College. Has some excellent programs about canola production, uh, canola wheat rotations, pest management, uh, increase in your productivity, trying to get that next 10 bushels, and then some of the basics agronomy. So there's a lot to offer the farmers. More than 250 producers took part with the overall goal to improve yields at harvest and increase the bottom line. So that learning, uh, that extension portion, is very beneficial to the farmers uh, to make sure they have a good profitable crop. And the profit margins will likely get a boost with a new canola processing plant. Oklahoma is just a, a great region for growing winter canola. North Star Agri Industries, based in North Dakota, is planning to build a full-scale operation just east of Enid, to service growers from Texas to Kansas and beyond. When you're dealing with 2,000 tons a day, you're dealing with a lot of material that has to be transported in and out. So we're on a major rail line here, the BN, uh, and we're, we've got access to natural gas and, and water. So those are sort of the three big factors for locating a plant. Company leaders say the proposed plant will create 55 jobs with a $3.5 million annual payroll. It will handle all stages of canola production. He'll dump the canola, we'll, uh, we'll crush it um, and, and refine it. So out of, out of our plant will come oil that's ready to be used on the table uh, or for cooking oil, for salad oils, any of that. And then the, the remaining product is, is a high protein meal that's a 39, 40% protein that's just great cattle feed. Welcome news to Oklahoma's growing canola industry. Having a local crush plant in Enid, it's kind of where our acres are centered around. So a lot of farmers are going to get a little bit more per bushel in this north central region. Uh, but they'll be buying canola from Texas all the way up through Kansas. Um, it's kind of a sister crush plant from there up north. So. Uh, we're really excited to have them here. It's very needed. Uh, farmers obviously don't want to grow a crop if there's no one there to buy it.